What can I what can I tell you? What do you need to know? <laughs> okay. So. Well, uh, okay, first of all, it's very exciting that on June 8th, Wednesday, uh, Days of Our Lives, we'll be doing a special episode about the character of Hope Brady, and a lot of people are coming back from her past and sort of dream sequence, Stefano DeMiro, Bo Brady, and yours truly, you, Larry Welch. Um, how surprised were you when you got the call that they wanted Larry Welch on Days? Out of the blue, totally out of the blue. It's like I said in that interview on the soap opera digest. I mean, my manager called me up and said, guess, who, guess what's happening? And I said, I had no other clue. I was thinking like maybe, you know, some Y&R or General Hospital or something like that. He goes, no, Dave's called. I said, you really? <laughs> <laughs> Especially the way they had had Larry die because we saw him, you know, cursing out Hope, dying in the de- on the hospital bed and saw – you know, uh, the the life support go out and everything. Of course, that means nothing in the soaps anyway. But <laughs> uh, the one the one thing that people didn't see, I, I guess, but it was I did it on purpose, was I moved my little finger. It was it was outside of the uh, of the gurney, and uh, Steve Wyman, who was directing that episode, is no longer with the show. He was he was exec for a while, for a long time. He was directing that particular show, which I love because he came on. Days when I, uh, as a director, when I was already on, and we just got along famously. I mean, he, I liked the way he directed, he liked the way I acted. So you know, it was a bond. And uh, so I had, I said, Steve, I'm going to do this little thing with my right hand. And he goes, Okay, I'll cover it. And so at, uh, at the end of this of the shot, you just see my hand, you know, sort of like un- underneath the bed sheet, which is hanging out, and my little finger, after everything was said and done, moved back and forth. <laughs> And Steve so, laughed. He said, "I said, you get it." He goes, "Absolutely, I got it." So, and and people have seen oh, it. Uh, uh, so, so it worked out fine. So there you go. If there, there you have it right there. If they want to bring Larry Welch, they can just bring that episode back, that little piece of the finger in a flashback. And that's then, it. That's you know, why I did it. Because has brought you back to life, or whatever happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I saw Teo get you know die four times. I mean, one time exactly. he, you know they they blew him up one time. You know, I mean, it was like in pieces. <laughs> And so I said, okay. So I said to myself, no, it's not going to happen to Larry. You know, because Kenny made, Kenny made me a promise. He, he said, Landry says, you know, whatever happens, I, I will tell you this, we'll never kill you off. Well, he did not know that, you know, uh, the new head writer uh, was going to, or whoever it was, decided to kill me off. So I guess he had to go that way. But then, so I said, well, you know what? I'll make his promise come true. So I just did the little finger thing down there. And that way, uh, everybody was cool. You know, yeah, worked out fine. <clears throat> well, I think it's very likely. If the little finger move, there you've got it. You've got you've got uh, your your, <laughs> your little your little in there. Um, yeah, the so fig, the fickle fi- you used to call it the fickle finger of fate. Uh, the fickle finger of fate, exactly. <laughs> so, how was it uh, working on the day set again with uh, Christian Alfonso and Peter Reckle and all that? Pure heaven. Mm-hmm. You know, I I did it for so you know for so long and so often because we had a great storyline the three of us you know and so they used us a lot back then and then the, my, my, when I came back the second time so we worked together a lot so we all we it's like we all it's like we're brothers and sisters we know what we're going to say we know what we're going to do we know you know how they react and so it makes working with those people like Christian and and Peter and especially Christian because I did a lot but Peter I mostly fought. You know, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, but Christian, you know, we did we had a lot of scenes together, and and like I said in the other one, it was just there was a bond there, and it just it feels very 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 natural and comfortable, you know. Well, I think it's can, wonderful that I, you can see it, you know, in the social media. You know, the Christian has said several times how much she's enjoyed working. She enjoyed working with you, and you're always saying how much you enjoy work with her. So, you know, it's great that, you know, when did Larry, Hope and Larry start up in, like, 1982 or something like that? And all exactly. this time, you guys still, you know, rave about how much 80, you I think it was 81, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah. That's when, because, you, know, you know, we started, I think she was, like, 17 years old when we first started. Mm-hmm. I mean, she was a kid, and uh, but she was just a natural. She was just she's just a natural actress. She's just she has that thing that uh, you know the it thing uh, on, as, a, as an as an actress and a you know as a talent and a and the looks. She's uh, she was just she was easy to work with and easy to watch. <laughs> <laughs> 
Easy, she was know, easy on the eyes, as my dad used to say. Oh, yeah, she still is. I think she's just one of the most beautiful women in the world. Um, yeah, but she backs it up with fi- with feisty and fire, which is what I like about her. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. yes. Well, yeah, that's what made Hope, you know, loved for, you know, all this time. I think one of the most uh, infamous and remembered and flashbacked episodes from Days of Our Lives ever uh, was the famous, you know, wedding with Larry lifting up the veil, thinking Hope would be there, and it turns out to be Howie Hofstetter. And then we see Bo whisking Hope away from the church on the motorcycle. I mean, was it fun to film that? Because the fans, still, to this day, we're still seeing flashbacks of it. Oh, and it's funny because that's, I mean, of all the scenes that we did together, and there was a bunch of them, that one is is the one that remains the most talked about between us. Um, well, I mean, what's not to love? It was hysterical. You know, I mean, I, there was Howie with a cigar in his mouth, you know, underneath the veil. I was about ready to kiss her, and I went, holy moly, look at this. And then when I punched him and he fell on the ground, his skirt went up, and he was wearing boxer shorts with little hearts on him. <laughs> Which the camera did not did not get, I don't think. But I I burst out laughing. I, I they had to cut the scene. I mean, you know, and we do it because I I saw I just started laughing so hard, and uh, and he was a wonderful guy. He was so funny to work with. I think he's passed on since now, which is sad because yeah, he's, he was, yeah, he was a great he character did. actor. He was. Uh, yeah, but, that episode had everything. It had you know the high drama of hope of being upset, and then it just turned into comedy and romance. And it just to me, it was like one of the perfect soap opera episodes because it just had everything. You know. Yeah, and it's uh, funny because I mean, I mean, the, the the fans were going crazy. You know, they did not want her to marry me on under any circumstances. You know, I mean, I was the guy that they just absolutely detested. You know, they loved me, but they hated me at the same time. Well, you know, what was interesting with the character of Larry is, you know, in the early years, uh, you know, when when he was first on as the, the DA and going after Roman Brady and all that, you saw right. sort of a romance that he had with Gwen Davies, and you found out more about the guy, who he really was, sort of a human being. And then as time went on, he started to become much more villainous and darker, you know, with... Uh, uh, poisoning Gwen and killing Megan Demira and stuff, and so he sort of turned from, you know, uh, sort of, he he just turned more into a bad guy, and then, of course, when you returned in 2002 as Larry, he was a, he was totally off, off the wall, you know. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was, he was I, I, I call that my Joker episode, you know, where uh-huh. he was just nuts. <laughs> I mean, he was, he was trying to scare Hope to death, you know, and uh, it was just, it was crazy. Um, but it was, he was, a, the thing I liked about Larry was, like you said, he was a, you know, he was a fractured guy, you know, uh-huh. he was mis, uh, misguided early on. Uh, there was a scene there where they talk about my first wife. Nobody ever talks about that where he comes home one day and she's gone. Uh, because he was, you know, he had just, f- uh, f- finished, I guess, uh, just passed the law uh, exam. Because uh, he was a cop before that, or something like that, and he was uh, living on a you know small apartment, and his first wife was, you know, not happy and all that kind of stuff. And one day, when he finally passed the bar exam, and he was going to be a lawyer, and he comes home, and she's gone with a letter saying, you know, goodbye, I hate you, whatever. And so that that kind of destroyed him right then and there, it took his his faith away, and then from then on, he was uh, just got progressively worse, you know. So yeah, it, and I remember it, uh, those scenes where it was showing oh, you it do? was going to be. But, well, I mean, you know what's funny is, you know, in the age of the internet, again, you know, all these old episodes from there have ended up on YouTube and different places. So you could see some of that early Larry Welch stuff, and I had seen it again a few years ago. I was like, there was more of a story there. There was more that they that that was gonna that could have come out with Larry. I think they were hinting at, and then they went a different direction. Yeah, they did well because you know they saw they saw a triangle. You know they saw Hope, Bo, and Larry, and yeah. uh, you know somebody has somebody has to be the bad guy, and it's not going to be Bo. You know, so uh, guess who? It's Larry, which is fine yeah. with me because I mean that's how it works. You know, uh, some some are heroes and, and some are not. 